Hurricane Irma has regained Category 3 intensity, and additional strengthening is likely in the coming days as it tracks west across the Atlantic. Environmental conditions could even support Irma, becoming a rare Category 5 hurricane at some point the first since 2016's Matthew. Within the next five days, the Leeward Islands, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti and the Bahamas are most definitely at risk and should prepare for hurricane conditions, at least a close encounter if not an A. Direct landfall. Beyond then, forecast confidence drops dramatically. Some models curve Irma back out to sea before reaching the continental United States, but a significant percentage of models have Irma striking the U.S. East Coast as early as Saturday or Sunday. Therefore, anyone with interests from Florida to New England should monitor forecasts closely. The center of Irma is still about 900 miles east of the Leeward Islands, 2,150 miles east-southeast of Miami and 2,150 miles southeast of Wilmington, NC. The National Hurricane Center is predicting Irma to pass over or near the Leeward Islands on Wednesday, then to be near the eastern Bahamas by Friday. Beyond that, the Spread in model tracks grows, but it usually does at such long lead times. Hurricane watches may be issued later Sunday for the Leeward Islands. In the longer range beyond five days, we turn again to the model ensembles. Rather than relying on a single model or a single model run, we look at ensembles which generate dozens of model runs, each using slightly different initial conditions as Input. 